Jake has completely lost the goddamn mind. Call her lawyer, how about Shimei Oshai, by Shimei Kakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High, name is only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, my name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. I want to play this short I just saw. You know, somebody sent it to me. And um, I ain't going to make this long. But um, yeah, man, just take a look at Jake real quick. What the fuck is your man's on? What the fuck is he on? I like blessing. I like helping. I like to make sure that shit. Oh, he getting ass naked. He's wilding on this bitch. I like to make sure he shut up forever. I like to make sure he shut up. Run out here high as hell. Oh, he's done in the fucking sewer. Oh, hey, bro, get the fuck away from my car. Hell no, you can't get in my fucking car. Back up. What the fuck is wrong with you? You bugging the fuck out out here, dog. Hey, bro, get the fuck away from my car. Hell no, you can't. Jake is bugging the fuck out. He's bugging the fuck out out here, dog. All right, and that's what the, that's what the Jake you he heard in the video said. But I just you know just look at this Jake man. And I saw it when I was you know I, I'm leaving work, and I saw this and I was just like God damn bro like, and it was funny, but at the same time it's not funny. All right, because all I could think about was what the hell is going on through his head right now. Okay. You Jake's better get off them damn drugs and you better cut your cut them damn dreads, man. And I know cause I had dreads. And when I had dreads, that shit had, you know, it had demons on me, bro. You know, when I before I came prior to coming to the truth, I was, you know, you know, selling drugs, doing drugs, in the trap, you know, all type of nigga shit. And I had dreads, you know, and I and I, I remember but when I, prior to coming to the truth, nobody had to tell me to cut my hair. But I just remember, I just knew that, you know, when I came with the truth, I had to cut my hair and I felt relieved. I felt like a lot of demons can't got off me, man. You know, I had, a, I had a certain amount of spirits on me when I had them damn dreads and I knew that and I, and I can admit that, man. So this Jake right here, you know, you just look at him and you can just tell like he, he, he ain't all the way there right now, man. You know, and this is the majority of our people and this is also a part of the curses, man. The curses that's on Jake, you know, got Jake completely bugged the hell out, completely gone. You know, and um, you know, I, I, I mean, we we really hope that Jake will, will, will wake up, but we know the majority of these niggas gonna have to be destroyed here, and come back on the other side. You know, so let me grab this scripture. Of, and the curses, and I'll probably just close out with this. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see whatever, whatever, whatever the spirit takes me. Um, this is um Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, and I'm gonna get it in the NLT. It says, "The Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai will strike you with madness, blindness, and panic. And Jake has been gone completely mad. You lost your fucking mind. You gone, man. You lo Matter of fact, let me grab this in a blue letter. Oh, this is a blue letter. So lock you. What am I doing? Let's, let's, grab this, let's grab this word madness in the blue letter. All right. It says madness, uh, craziness, okay? Craziness. Okay, and Jake just, Jake was gone, Okay. It says figuratively, figurative of wild and helpless panic. And that's what you saw. He was in a wild and helpless panic. He had he was completely out of his mind. He tried to jump in that man's car. And what are the odds that this man's recording him and you try to jump in his car? You know? But it, but it, but this you'll see a lot if you live in the hood, man. You know, I remember uh, I remember um, you know, I had I I had actually recently moved out of a, 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 a the damn hood. And the Jakes in my neighborhood was fucking completely gone. It was all drugged the hell out. It was all smoking Molly and, you know, on drugs and shit. And I was like, yo, I got I, I to get the hell up out of here, man. But what really did it for me was my neighbor who lived, like, basically in front of me, his brother. He brought his brother down here from Miami. I guess he was on he was on drugs down there. He came down here and got on worse drugs. And this nigga was popping a sissy in a fucking tent basically in front of my house, man. You know? And that's like, what the hell be going on through Jake's head? But these niggas are really fucking gone. Okay, they're gone, bro. Majority of you jakes ain't gonna make it. You're gonna have to be destroyed here and come back on the other side in your right mind. And really, that's the best thing for Jake, man. If you got a sick dog, you know, your dog got rabies, you, you gotta put the dog down. 
And a lot of you jakes got to be put down. I believe it was Dr. Umar who said that recently how, you know, a lot of these jakes, they can't be, you know, re, 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 they, um, they, they can't be helped. They got to be put down. And that's the truth. You know, an individual like that, man, you know, he, he more he more than likely going to have to die on this side to come back, you know, in his right mind on the other side, man. But let's bring it back. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And those jakes that was in my fucking front yard, too. Them niggas is gone, bro. Like, how the fuck you smoking crack and you gay and having gay sex in the tent in front of somebody else's house, bro? I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? But this is the reality that we're in, you know, and we, and, and then we got to suffer this bullshit, man. But Jake has completely lost their fucking mind, have completely bugged the fuck out. It says, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, y'all shall will strike you with madness. This is a part of the curses. Deuteronomy 28, this is a part of the curses. Will strike you, and these curses will come upon our enemies too. Esau, now you see Esau in a bad state. Blindness and panic. You will grope around in broad daylight like a blind person groping in darkness and will not find your way. And that's that's what you saw Jake, Jake was doing. He was putting his clothes, he put his clothes in the sewer. He could strip butt naked, not butt naked, he had his drawers on, but damn near he was, you know, a video went along, he would have got butt naked. Okay, and he put his clothes in the sewer. What? Why? What are you? What? What's going on in your head? What? What? And Jake said to me, "What the fuck is he on?" And Jake be on some shit. It says you will be oppressed and robbed continually, and no one will come to save you. And that's what's happened to our people. Listen, the only one that can save you is Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, and majority of these individuals, two thirds of our people, the only way that they're gonna be saved is through death and destruction, man. Okay, that's the only way the Lord can 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 save them at this point is he has to he has to leave them here and melt them and they're gonna come back in the kingdom of heaven in their right mind. Let's let's grab that real quick. Um, cause you got these these bug outs saying that, it, that all Israel is not you know not gonna be saved. They, they're really pushing the hell doctrine. It shows you that Jake don't understand what they're a part of. It says um, and this is what we hope for, man. We, we our heart's desire is that Israel should get it and wake up. We know majority of them are not. It says. And I'll grab it in the blue letter. It says Romans chapter 11, verse. Uh... I'll get right to the point. It says um, in the NLT, it says. And so all Israel will be saved, now, not on this side, but eventually all Israel will be back in the kingdom of heaven in their right minds, okay? The ones that die on this side, you're going to come back, okay, because the spirits don't die. You, you're going to come back after you get the horrible destruction. After you get destroyed, you're going to come back and you're going to be re reborn again in the kingdom of heaven. Scripture says after, after every third and fourth generation, you're going to come back, man. So it says... So And so all Israel will be saved, and we need to be saved from, you know this not only america but also ourselves we in these chains of darkness you know you know god god they, they, you got you got you got jakes that's you know got a problem with drinking got a problem with drugs you know whatever Jake got a problem with man that's another part of being saved we're gonna be changed we're not gonna be able to be able to sin anymore it says as the scriptures say the one who rescues will come from jerusalem and will turn and, will t and he will turn Israel away from ungodliness. And that's what you see Jake doing. Jake is under ungodliness right now, which has showed you that we ain't in the, we not fully, the second covenant has not been fully established because Jake is still gone. Not all Jake know you how about him, how shy yet, man. But we got to, that's why we still out here teaching too. You, you saw that Jake in that video? He he don't know you how about him, how shy, man. You know? He had a man bun, with, he had a, a, a dreads with a man bun. It says, and this is my covenant with them that I will take away their sins. So this is a covenant that the Lord is going to establish, which is that second covenant, which has not been fully established yet. Okay? If it had been fully established, you would not see shit like that. Okay? You won't see shit like that, man. But we here in the land of our captivity, still going through hell, you know, battling demons. And majority of our people are gone. Let's grab that quote out with this right here. Our prayers be edifying to the hopeful elect and an eye opener, man. Why we really need your house shy, you know? Man accused of slashing tires on over 20 cars in Tampa, right? And that's a Jake. Nigga slashed over 20 cars. 
tires in Tampa, man. What what's what, what, what I'm talking about, bro? This is what I'm talking about. Now it's news break. I'm literally going into how Jake is fucked up in the head, and you you got a prime example right there. What the hell you doing slashing over twenty slashing tires of over twenty cars? Wait, what what was going through your head when you was doing that? Like you gotta ask yourself, what be going through Jake's head? It says second uh Ze- Zechariah chapter thirteen verse um I'm going to get an NLT, verse 8. It says, two parts of the people in the land of America, two parts of who, what people? You Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians, will be cut off and die. Okay, you're going to be cut off and die, saith, says Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But one-third will be left in the land, meaning, meaning to be delivered. Majority of you Jakes are going to die in Jacob's trouble. You're going to die in the missiles. You're going to die in the pestilence. You're going to die in the famines. You're going to die. You know, and and it's unfortunate. It's sad, but at the same time, we know it's necessary. You know how like uh, for the movie um, Training Day, he was say no, it, no, it, it it can't be like this. And he said, he said, but it is, it is, it's necessary. You know that hey, that's that, that that's the reality, man. You gotta wake up to reality. This is the world that we're living in, and we want to be delivered out of this world, which is why every intellect should be on fire. You know, you should be on fire, man. But that's the point. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame, Shalom, Allah, Baba, Ball. Uh, we're going to be going live soon in a couple hours at camp. So tune in for that. I praise the lessons of Edifying to the whole full of that. Shalom.